This is what it feels like to have that seat. Boy, I never felt it before, I'm dog. No, I never felt it before. First seat, first seat, ever. First seat ever. Mama, I made it. <laughs> I made it. We got big seat, huh? That's crazy. What jet is that? You gotta smile, bro. You gotta smile, bro. Who me? Oh, I'm gonna smile. You got the grill, you gotta smile. Right. No, I'm gonna smile. That one thing I will do. Right, ready? One, two, three. Receivers, let's go. Let's get this done quick. <laughs> that joke today. It's amazing. It's amazing. Never had to see on my chest before. So have it on my chest for the first time to represent my guys, my bikes. It's about to be a good season. All right, let's, uh, let's get rolling here. For you guys that have been here, you know what it takes Wednesdays. Uh, we're going to talk about all three phases of really just some things that we can have a mentality, making sure that we emphasize how we practice, how we mentally prepare, and then ultimately understanding uh, what's going to come to life uh, to help us give ourselves the best possible chance to win football games. We all have to be locked in. How many times, all 11, can we finish the snap and say every single guy did their job? Because I'm just telling you, our 11 we put out on the field has got a great chance for the Minnesota Vikings. Let's have a good Wednesday. Good morning. Good morning, morning right? Afternoon. Oh, afternoon, afternoon. Um, it's always exciting. Uh, to come across that first game of the season. Um, you know, want to start the season off right. They're eager to go back out there and uh, start it all up again. Y'all ready? See in uh, Jordan's car, Momo. Oh, on the other side. This stuff flies by. I'm already going on my fourth year. Uh, feels like I just started. So, uh, you know, you got to uh, take the most of those opportunities to just, you know, sit there and just uh, be into the moment, uh, you know, just just realize everything that's going on uh, and embrace it because uh, it, it definitely flies by and uh, before you know it, you know, uh, it'll be all over. These are 10 things I cannot live without. You know why man's so different this year? Attention, all students. Thanks, Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson's having a great day. He's the most handsome receiver. Will you protect this house? One person that's standing out to me right now is Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson. <laughs> I think a lot of guys pretend to be a superstar, but he naturally has an aura that makes him a superstar. I always dreamed of being on this type of level, being a superstar in the league. I just really think about all of the fans, the people that like me as a player, like me as a person. And then having those opportunities to meet them, to make their moment, to make their day. You know, that memory will last forever. Of course, you have your, your times where you want more privacy and, you know, you want to be more normal. But it comes with the game, you know. I'd rather be known than not known. <laughs> uh, and 
it's definitely, you know, what I expected. <laughs> this is the first game of the season, so uh, I still feel like a kid just waking up in the morning uh, for the game day, just ready to go out and kill it again. We, we can keep building off uh, what we had last year, which was a great season. Uh, so to build off of that, uh, I feel like we're going to have a, a great year. Going into the season, uh, I definitely had the confidence, you know, had the confidence in his team, confidence in myself uh, to go out there and make some plays for us. I mean, just to be presented with the captain for the first time and to have that, that responsibility to, you know, be that leader on this team, to lead by example, uh, to, to be that role model, to represent the team, you know, it's, it's something that I take seriously. Uh, and of course, every single time I step on that field, I'm trying to do everything, you know, I can. Uh, in order for us to win. There we go, Jets. Go get them, baby. Have fun. Let's go. Let's go. And fight. Let's, go. Let's, go. Let's go. Welcome to U.S. Bank Stadium. It's the Minnesota Vikings and their 2023 regular season opener. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in town. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, man. Let's go score, dog. Come on. Come on. Let's go score. Come on. Let's do it, dog. Come on. Got you. Hey, that's gonna come to you, gang. When that do, make the most of that. It's about to come any second. I'm telling you. And that'll make it third and 11 with the Buccaneers leading 3-0. Cousin shotgun four man rush. Kirk, great drop. He fades. Man wide open. the shotgun two by two formation Mayfield looking for Evans he's got him touchdown Baker Mayfield to Mike Evans Turtles on. second and one Cousins over the middle oh no picked off intercepted by Tampa Bay Buccaneers have an interception and uh, Justin Jefferson smacks said interceptor. And that is a huge play at the goal line for the Tampa Bay defense. Wow. Let's keep going, bro. Let's this keep going. It. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Come on. We ain't done yet. Come on, y'all. We right there. Come on. Let's go. Come on. The A topic is we're minus three. Minus three in the take give. Come on. Yeah, that's, that's it's unbelievable. And uh, that will do it. The Buccaneers beat the Vikings 20 to 17. Welcome to 2023. Good game, Baker. Way to play. Appreciate Great job. Great job. Good game, man. Way to play. Good game, Chris. Respect your game. You got a great game. Hammer, good to see you. Good job, buddy. Good job. Yeah, thanks for saying hello. Minnesota Vikings are set to contest one of the very best teams in the National Football League, the Philadelphia Eagles. You got to rely on Kirk Cousins, and of course, Justin Jefferson's going to have to be electrified. It is third and nine. As Cousins goes back to pass, Jordan Davis smashes him. Pass over the middle, incomplete. And that's going to do it. The Minnesota Vikings are 0 2. 
a big one today for both teams, but we are here pulling for everything purple and gold. Nobody wanted to see them go 0-2. Oh, let's go. One play at a time. Come on, get on them. Does it. Looking. Throws for the end zone. Deflected, and it's intercepted. Kenneth Murray, after the double deflection, ends up with the football and extinguishes the Vikings' hopes. One inch, one way or the other way, and we're having a different conversation. Oh, for sure. Uh, I feel like it's been like that the past three games. So, uh, I mean, it's tough. You know, still, we're still, you know, hurting ourselves and uh, shooting ourselves in the foot. So, uh, you know, we got to do better as players by executing the plays and not turn the ball up. Our next opportunity. All right, it is nothing more than that. Uh, what we're building upon with a lot of the positives that we have going on in this room right now, uh, the results just have not come. We've talked about that from a standpoint uh, of what the final score has looked like. And really, some of the positives that are all over our tape in all three phases of our team, all right, we can get on this plane ready to go to Carolina and start fast from the jump. It's got to be a mentality of what we do. But it's all about our urgency, our effort, how we practice. We have a practice week like we did last week. We're going to go win this football game. All right, but it's got to be every little thing you do from the time you get here in the morning to when you leave after those meetings. It's got to be purposeful and intentional if it burns inside your core the way it does to all of us right now. You guys understand? Let's roll. So I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right. It's Provilo or Provilo. Just kind of stumbled upon it on the internet. I think from what I understand, it's kind of like an ancient Russian martial arts type training. Helps uh, kind of decompress, stretch, strength. I don't think you need it as a, as a younger player. Um, it's something I think as, as you get a little older, you might want to dabble. Or, you know, things like it. It doesn't have to be this. This is obviously kind of extreme. When you take this many hits and, you know, your shoulders, your neck, things tend to get more in like a, like a survival, like lock-in type mode. That range can get limited and I'm trying to reverse that. This is normally how I start. Like I'll just, the weight's not even out. But I'll just kind of open up. So now that weight's hanging and pulling on my, my legs and my low back and all the way through my mid back. This is how I'll sit for, you know, 10, 15 minutes in the morning. Just sit like this. You've constantly got to be finding consequences in your workouts. If there's no consequences, you're not, you're never going to keep getting better. Um, so sometimes a little bit of fear is a good motivator. Because they're pulleys, like you can do weight training. But you can't really get that movement, even though it's pretty basic looking. Most of the guys in the team think I'm kind of a whack job when they see me doing some of this stuff, and I can't blame them. But I like how it makes me feel. So I don't want to say better, because everyone says they feel better the older they get, which is just a lie. But uh, <laughs> athlete-wise. Athlete but uh, no, I do feel, I do feel pretty, pretty reasonable, I'll say. Yeah. I'll say sometimes I err on the side of like not having enough confidence. So when you have what I was talking about with consequences, when you have consequences like, and you, I don't know, defeat them or overcome them, like it kind of boosts your confidence. Like, okay, I can jump over that hurdle or that box. And like, it's a small thing, but every year I, there's certain things I do in the gym where I'm like, okay, I can still play. So you're back. There wasn't a lot of other places I would even consider going. Um, it's not just because I've been here a long time. I want to back that up. I want to make them right. It's because we can win here. We have the leadership to win here. 
from all of our coaches, from our ownership, from our staff, from everybody. Like it's it's top shelf. And so if you're gonna leave that, it bet there it better be a good a good reason to leave that. Um, and I couldn't really find one. I kind of expected him to be back because you can't you can't end off of having that good of a season. So, but I was still really happy having uh, somebody who's a mentor to me. When I got drafted, I knew what kind of football player he was. But I think as a person and as a leader on this team, he brings so much and he just does things the right way and uh, stuff like that matters. And uh, you know, I just do a lot to just try to you know take that all in. Being my first time playing safety in the NFL, Harry was able to teach me so much about the game. And even still to this day, I'm still learning. So having him back is, is huge for us. Happy Sunday and welcome to a sun-splashed Bank of America Stadium. The winless Minnesota Vikings need to get outside of the box and actually win a game here today. There's always a lot of unknowns. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do this year and especially what we can do on defense. I think probably not getting a lot of, not a lot of expectations, not a lot of love. And I like that. Unfamiliar ground for Minnesota, the reigning division winners in the NFC North. Great in one possession games last year, 0-3 this year. I like the potential that we have, but I don't really need to tell anybody about it. And we don't need to tell anybody about it. Just play. For Minnesota, can't seem to get out of their own way. So the defense needs to get off the field. Harrison Smith and the ball Come came out. Come and on. it's picked up by D.J. Wanham. And it's loose. Inside the 10. Touchdown. Oh. Cousins play action, rolls out to the right, pumps, fires, caught, touchdown, Justin Jefferson! Fires to the end zone to Jefferson, touchdown! The single change oh, 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 That boy's great. That's greatness. This Vikings team has been in plenty of close games this year. And remember last season, all the close games that they were in as well, but it's high risk, high reward, I guess. The Panthers facing an 0-4 start in Minnesota. Looking for their first win of the year. Every offense has to recognize where Harrison Smith at is at all times. A minute 55 to go. At any moment, he could come off the edge. At any moment, he could be in the post. Second and goal from the nine. Bikes lead by eight. Rice Young facing a blitz, and he cannot get away from it. He's sacked for the fourth time, and it was a blitzing Harry the Hitman. He's a dominant presence all over the field, making plays when it had to be made. Keep the ball out of the end zone. Taking over a game, you know, and it's really the first time somebody on our defense did that. together uh, as anybody on this team and so you know that's most special about it because you get guys that are later in their careers and aren't able to do that and uh, Harrison's right in the middle of all of it. From your best you need their best when it's required all right when we had to have it all right Harrison Smith yep. made a play and then another play and then another play when you needed it one more time why not I'm gonna go get the quarterback again I love this guy. Hey. It's tough to quantify everything, right? Um, you try to, because it makes you feel good that there's a right answer or a wrong answer, but you don't always know. Um, yeah, it, 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 it felt right to stay, yeah. How sure were you that you were going to 
keep playing just in general? Yeah, yeah, I put a little thought into that. And it, it wasn't the first time. Um, but you build a you build a, a little wooden machine and you start feeling pretty sweet. So um, <laughs> that goes away pretty quick. Like every time I've thought about it, it's just if you can do it, it's hard not to do it because the like everything about it is it's uh it's pretty fun like, it's fantastic and it the lows are low uh, and i think that's why the highs are so high Vikings fall to one and four. All four losses, one score affairs. There wasn't any panic, but there was a just a sense of urgency. We got to hurry up and get this fixed. Bro. Just this close to having so many turnovers. I know you do. Jordan Hicks catches a pick. And boom, you know, that breaks the ice for us. Josh Mattel is forced to fumble. Picked up by Jordan Hicks. Oh, this is what it's all about. Feel this feeling. Don't forget it. And let's go one and all again. Let's go. Bikes all three. One, two, three. Bikes. It'll be fun to play, you know, Monday football night game. Looking forward to that challenge. Cousins throws and it's taken away by Addison for the touchdown. I felt like we were an ascending football team, and so we were kind of on a run there of playing our best football in October after the 0-3 start. I just think this is our month. Uh, Coach was talking about with the team meetings all the time. We are now 3-1 in the month of October. We said this was going to be the defining month to get us back on track. It is all right out in front of us. You could see we had a lot of pieces that we could be a team that could catch fire, and we were starting to catch fire. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm my ankle shot. Here. Ah. What happened? 